This here is Homer the Homesteader. Still here in Texas on a little bit of overcast and rainy day. I want to talk to you a little bit about Miss Stephanie's tea garden and uh, why I'm so excited to move out into the out yonder and off grid and do some self sustaining and homesteading. I created Miss Stephanie a tea garden because <clears throat> she wanted some stuff to grow and some tea. And I planted some echinacea, a little lemon balm, and some fennel. It's done an amazing job. I guess you can also see that uh, right close to our uh, garbage can. But just want to show you how uh, she had some uh, wandering dew, purple in here, and uh, we planted a little peppers. Uh, well, we kind of live out on a little bit of property here. Uh, we still uh, try to make it in to our little bit of area. Uh, but anyway, the seeds kind of went wild, especially with this fennel. We took one plant out already, gave it to her mall. And then uh, we got the echinacea here. And uh, they went to seed last year and jumped on over here across the, across the sidewalk. And even went as far as over here in the front yard by the driveway so anyway you can in a small spot and there's the farm Prius getting ready to go into town but uh, you can in a small space grow an amazing amount of stuff and while we may not have to do that out there on the homestead uh, while I was here in these smaller spots I did grew some tea garden stuff well, like I said, some echinacea. Uh, this wasn't part of the tea garden, but asparagus fern. Lemon balm just went crazy up in here. You can see I got a little bell pepper plants. And then that other pot over there. And then also, that there fennel just did amazing. Homer about 6'1". And I'd say that fennel goes just as tall as him. So just some bronze fennel. And it's doing pretty amazing in here. Whatever it is you do today, whatever it is you grow, whoop, you can see my hand there for a second. But uh, I hope you have some fun time uh, enjoying your life today. Find a little softer, gentler side of things. Get in touch with, you know, something that grows and uh, feeling more part of the nature around you. And uh, since I was here giving you a little talk, I also noticed her beautiful flowers over here. And so there's some beautiful flowers. Uh, I guess the Texas shade, a little rose bush. I want to say this is lantana, but I can't remember right now. It escapes me. But as you can see, there's lots of beautiful stuff growing in here. Unfortunately. I think since we're trying to sell this, she's trying to sell this place, we're going to have to trim some of it back because not everybody's so interested in having beautiful plants growing everywhere. Again, whatever it is you do today, I hope you get a little bit closer with the nature. And uh, oh, that reminds me of another thing. We had, a, we had a realtor come by and not particularly care for this nest up here on the front light. But uh, I'm glad Stephanie didn't take it down. Oh, there's some baby birds in there. I don't know if you can see them. But uh, there you go. So let nature kind of go its course. Try not to knock out so much. That's what we're doing. Part of the idea with the homestead is to get more natural and not, uh, not live so much in the rat race. I'm glad Bobby Bison and Smarty Lady woo, are joining us too, along with Horatio and Homer. This is all your lag update on property.